after Goku could get rid of the first breach in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. The Saiyajin gave way to the next crack. What is this place? In front of Goku, there would be big statues. Statues that would belong to the gods of those dimension. Goku says, hello, is there someone here? A blonde woman with great attributes appears. A human? Who gave you permission to be here? Aphrodite would analyze the Saiyan from head to toe. And she would say, you are not bad at all. You're very attractive. Aphrodite would say with a sensual voice. Goku would say, excuse me, could you tell me where I am? How? You don't know where you are? Answer, how did you get here? Goku being very direct would answer, I come from another world and apparently I appeared in this place. I'm looking for one of the breaches. It's a cube that contains a lot of power. Goku would continue explaining the subject, confusing Aphrodite, who would say, Are you okay? It seems that you're not sane. Tell me what is your name? Goku says, My name is Goku. I'm Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty. And right now you are in Ragnarok. Goku repeats, Ragnarok? How you really don't know anything? What a strange human. Whatever, follow me. Goku follows Aphrodite until he reaches the viewing platform of the fighting arena. This is Ragnarok. Poseidon is cut into pieces in front of Goku's eye, supplying the same. Ah, oh, we lost. The referee shouts, The first victory for mankind by Kojiro Sasaki. What is all this? Is it a tournament? Why don't you sit next to me so that I can explain everything to you? At that same moment, Goku notices some gods emanating anger and frustration. This must be a damn joke. You must have to recognize that humanity is strong. We'll have to take care of this more seriously. That was an incredible fight. Ah, who are you? Goku would introduce himself as usual. Aphrodite would say, Appeared out of nowhere in the halls of Ragnarok. A human? Get out of here. This is the place of the gods. Goku would say, I'd like to participate. Participate? Zeus would stare at Goku. The god would observe something that the other gods would not. Zeus would say, You don't look like an ordinary human. Hmm. But it is impossible for you to participate in this, since you are only a human. I understand. I think I should look for the breach anyway. I wonder where he could be. Goku asks openly, Have you by any chance seen a cube brimming with great power? A cube with great power? Stop this nonsense and get out of here. We have to plan our next move. Suddenly, Goku feels a strange energy. That's... Loki gets up angrily and replies, Don't you listen. Loki slaps Goku. The Saiyan stops his punch unconsciously. Goku replies, Ah, what are you doing? Loki would try to get out of Goku's grip, but it would be impossible. Loki said, let me go. Goku lets go of the god. Loki in his mind would say, who the hell is this guy? He almost ripped my arm off. Zeus would confirm his doubts and say, very well, I will let you participate. All the gods are surprised. You will make a human represent the gods? What kind of stupidity is that? Loki says, same here. Have you gone crazy, old man? Hercules appears at that very moment and says, I find that very unfair. You told me yourself that the next one would be me. Zeus says, what a problem. But I have the solution since you've arrived, Hercules. What do you think if you fight a little with Goku? Do you want to put me to the test? But why with him? Zeus laughs and says, <laughs> He's just a human. I'm sure you won't have any problem against him. How absurd. Then I'll attack right now. Hercules hits hard at the Saiyan's direction. But he stops his punch with the slightest effort. The stands would shake from the impact. All the spectators would realize that something strange was happening in the place of expectation of the gods. Brunhilde would say, It seems that this defeat made the gods nervous. We have to continue like this. Let's go, Gol. Gol would reply, It seems that something happened here. The gods are surprised by the ease with which Goku stopped the blow of one of the gods with greater brute force. Hercules would say, Apparently you're not a very common human. Now it's my turn. Goku with his right arm provides a blow to the stomach of Hercules. The god tries to resist the blow, but the Saiyan breaks his defense very easily, sending him to fly several meters, destroying all the architecture of the place. Loki says, what does this mean? Loki says, now you will have to fight against me. Zeus would reply, ha ha ha, no need. I don't know you, but I know you had possibilities. You have a very good physique, and your look is that of a man experienced in battle. But I will be honest, I never expected it to be so easy. Not against a fighter like Hercules. Very well, you will fight in the next fight. But tell me, why are you here? Ares would say, Father, that is absurd. A human to represent us? If you don't like the idea, you can face him. And if you can beat him, you can fight in the next fight. So what do you say, Ares? Hercules gets up again, returning to where the gods are, and says, That was a good hit. I really didn't expect it from a human. 
Goku seeing the whole scene and says, Ah, I didn't mean to make trouble. I don't have to fight if they don't want to. I just thought it was exciting what you're doing. Zeus said, right? The Ragnarok combat is something really spectacular and fun. Gods against the strongest men in the world. Goku would say against the strongest? Interesting. Now I will ask you again, why are you here? Goku would tell the gods all about the dimensional rifts and he. If I don't find any of the cubes, my universe could disappear. So if you know or find out anything about it, I would be very grateful if you let me know. Aphrodite says, I've never heard anything like that in my life, but if I find out anything, I will let you know. As well as all of us, hours would pass. Brunhilde would be watching who would be the next fighter to represent the human race. Suddenly, she receives a notification in her volunder. Gol says, what is it, sister? Brunhilde is surprised to see such a notification. What does this mean? Are they underestimating us? What's going on, sister? Brunhilde would say, it seems that Hercules will not fight in the next round. Gol would be surprised and would ask, who took Hercules' place? To which the Valkyrie answers him, a human, Son Goku. The Valkyrie would be very angry. How is it possible that a human would turn his back on his kind? It is unheard of. Gaul would say, Sister, then who will fight? Brunhilde would reply, We will continue with the plan. If they put a human, it is because he must be special. But even so, something strange is happening. Gaul would leave the room, leaving his sister alone. Gaul would continue walking through the corridors. I wonder why a human would replace the place of a god. Gaul bumps into someone. Ah, sorry. This would be the first encounter between Gaul and Goku. Ah, calm down. I think I'm lost. Are you looking for someone? Yes, I'm looking for a certain Zeus. They offered me to eat, but then they all disappeared and I have to fight, but I can't find them. Gol would be surprised and say, Don't tell me that you, you, you're son Goku. Ah, you know my name. Gol would have a big surprised face. Tell me why. Why would you fight beside the gods? That's betraying your race. Confused, Goku asks, What do you mean betraying my race? Brunhilde appears. Sister, he's the one who will fight alongside the gods. Brunhilde is surprised. What does that mean? After I tried to rescue you, why did you agree to fight against us? Ah, I myself asked them to let me fight against those strong guys. This tournament looks like a lot of fun, although I don't see the need to kill your enemy. But to each his own. Brunhilde at that very moment would see Goku with a lot of anger and contempt. Let's go, Gol. Just let me tell you that we have no thought of losing, and we will save humanity from the hands of the gods. Ironically, you will also be saved, but in your conscience will remain such dishonest and treacherous action towards yours. Gol looks at Goku's confused face. Wait, sister. Tell me, son Goku, why don't you seem to know anything? Goku, confused, replies. Heh, I really don't understand anything you said. What do you mean by betraying mine? On the other hand, what an interesting object. Zeus appears. Beelzebub, what are you doing with that? This is something unique, a double-edged sword. If I do something wrong, I will pay dearly. Let me tell you that this has the power to destroy this planet. No, its power is even more. It's something I cannot calculate. I still have to do a lot of studies. If we get the power of this thing, whatever it is, there will be no one who can face us. Great, but I came here just to inform you of something that we did not foresee. I want to talk to you about a certain Son Goku. They want to destroy humanity. Really? You did not know anything about that? Of course not. I only came here for something I'm looking for. And I believe that what I'm looking for is here. But I'm not sure yet. Can you tell us what is this something you're looking for? Goku would explain to the Valkyries about the breaches scattered all over the world and the danger it represents for their universe. Brunhilde would swallow saliva of surprise. You mean you're not from this world? That's right. I'm not human either. I'm a Saiyan. I was raised in a planet like this one. I understand. But even if everything you tell us is true, you're still the enemy. Ah, respect to that. I will no longer fight. I didn't know they were betting the existence of humanity. They never told me something as important as that. Brunhilde and Gaul are impressed by Goku's decision. Goku laughs. Gods are usually a bit complicated. You talk as if you know them. In my world, there are also very powerful gods. But these gods here really aren't very strong. You just said that the gods aren't strong. I think you're talking like that because you don't know the true power of these gods. Goku would just smile. Anyway, the only reason I'm here is because of the breach, and I must find it. If you don't fight, you'll just make the gods look bad, and they might decide to annihilate you. I just had an idea, says Goku smiling. The fourth fight of Ragnarok is about to begin. Two wins and a loss. The humans will be able to tie the score? We'll find out right now. By the gods! Ah, but is this true? 
Even the referee was surprised by the decision made by the gods. A human representing the gods? Sister, are you sure about this? He seems to be telling the truth. In the Volunder, I tried to find a clue about him, but he doesn't exist. That guy doesn't exist in this world. He doesn't exist? The referee says, I think there was a big change. Apparently, the gods have taken great measures for this fight. We start again. In the fourth fight of Ragnarok, who will represent the gods is the human son Goku. Silence would flood all the breachers. Goku appears. A human representing the gods? What does this mean? Are they taking this seriously? Is this a joke? The humans would be just as confused as they trying to make fun of us. They are underestimating us. Goku would hear a lot of boos from the gods. It's natural for this to happen, to put someone like that guy. How absurd. Zeus would just laugh. I won't fight for the gods. I'll fight for the humans. Everyone would be surprised, even the referee himself. What does this mean? I told you, old man, but you never listen. Zeus would be angry for a moment. Goku says, staring at the gods, When I met you, I could feel a strange presence, a familiar presence, and I think it was the cube that I'm looking for. If you have it, you better give it to me. Playing with unknown powers can cause the destruction of this world. We do not understand what you're talking about. Are you insinuating that we have the cube you mentioned? That's right. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not like that. Goku staring at Zeus says, I hope you're not playing with me. That cube can destroy my world. And if you have it and try to do anything stupid, I'll finish with each one of you. You'll finish with us. Don't even make me laugh. By defeating Hercules, you think you can defeat us? Everyone in the stands was confused and terrified by Goku's threats towards the gods. What is he doing? That fool will get himself killed. I only agreed to let him represent us because of everything he told us, but I never thought he would do something like that. If you don't believe me, then come down right now. Zeus would become angry, showing a sinister aura. Damn brat, he's insolent. All the gods would be really angry. Everyone wanted to jump into the fighting arena and kill Goku. Hey brat, you should apologize. If you continue like that, those gods will kill you. Huh? I'll save your life, then you can thank me. The referee shouts to calm the situation. There was a last minute change for the warrior Son Goku. Then since Son Goku will represent the humans, who will represent the gods? Father, leave this in my hands. I will put to sleep forever that guy who only likes to talk. Shiva says laughing. What a most interesting being. I'll fight. Let me fight, old man. I know you're anxious, but wait a moment. I will take care of it myself. Oh man, you already fought in the second fight. It would be unfair for you to fight again. Didn't you see how that guy defeated Hercules with a single blow? I'll be the one to face him. This was my fight. I won't let them take him away from me. The guy defeated you with one punch and you still want to fight him? It's true. It's really exciting. Besides, if I couldn't defeat him, much less you. What are you saying? Loki would show his dark aura. You assume that you're stronger than me? Come on, I'm tired of waiting. Why are the gods hesitating? Brunhilde as well as Gol and the other Valkyries would be surprised to see the gods acting. Why are the gods behaving that way? Is he really that strong? Suddenly a notification from Zeus's Volunder appears. Excellent. Let's see the power of that object. At the same moment the sky darkens, making visible a big shining ship. The gods of good fortune make their appearance. Hey, who of you is going to fight? You can't fight all seven together, that wouldn't be fair. Goku says, never mind, let them fight. We are not seven gods as everyone thinks, we're only one. After those words, all the gods merge, creating the true god. The god Serofuku. Haha, <laughs> I want to murder someone. The god would look sinisterly at Goku. How sinister? Are you sure you're the god of fortune? Are you making fun? Are you making fun? Huh? A message from the administration? At last they decided. We start again. The warrior who will represent the humans is Son Goku, and the one who will fight for the gods is none other than the seven gods of fortune. No, 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 no. It's the god Seru Fuku. Let's fight. This is crazy. How sinister. The appearance. It's so scary. His presence is really sinister. A good god that drowned in disgrace. But to be honest, the one that calls my attention the most of this fight is Son Goku. Surafuku would extract a weapon from his body. Now you will die. Surafuku attacks Goku left and right, but none of his hits would connect. You're very slow. Not even in a million years would you be able to hit me. Stop moving. What a disgrace. I'm full of disgrace. Is it me or is your weapon getting bigger and bigger? That'll only limit your speed. 
Am I imagining it? Serifuku's weapon is getting bigger and bigger. Serifuku was getting more and more crazy and gloomy. You're not imagining things. His axe absorbs misfortunes. What does it absorb? What do you mean by that? The more misfortunes the axe absorbs, the bigger it gets, and the more destructive it becomes. Serifuku keeps attacking Goku. How boring. All your attacks are so predictable. Damn, everything is a disgrace. Goku really is very skilled. Goku dodges one of Surafuku's blows by levitating in the air. Are you flying? He can fly? Is he really human? That fucker can fly. Surafuku makes big jumps trying to reach Goku without any success. The god would show a lot of tiredness. Goku appears. Where did he go? You're playing with me. Where the hell are you? Serifuku looks all around him to find Goku in front of him. Goku had the palm of his hand 20 centimeters from the god's face. You see, after all, they're not so strong. Goku expels a wave of ki, sending the god to fly, destroying everything in its path. All the gods are surprised. While some spoke of how incompetent the god was, others spoke of the great ability of Goku. It really is impressive. We're going to win, I'm sure of it. Sarafuku buried in the rubble says, it seems that nothing is going right for me. It was the same back then. I saved everyone, and none of them thanked me for what I did. I'm very unlucky. I'm not that strong. That human says I'm not strong. Goku is surprised. It can't be. Surafuku's weapon has taken a colossal size. I'm going to tear you to pieces. The god with all of his strength hits his weapon against the fighting arena. I finally finished you. You are no big deal. Huh? The god Serifuku won? What a scary weapon. But that won't be enough, said Goku holding the weight of the weapon with only one hand. What does this mean? What does this mean? I attacked him with all my might. Goku disappears, appearing above Serifuku and hitting him again. Slamming him to the ground. What do you think you are? I beg you, please disappear at once. I think it's time. His unhappiness grows more and more. Damn you. Die, die, you have to die. Disappear from this world. At that very moment, Surafuku undergoes a metamorphosis. Cries of agony and despair are heard all over Ragnarok. What's wrong? Are you okay? A monster of great size and much more sinister aura than before appears. And who are you? Your power. That energy looks like... Who is that? How impressive. Well done, Beelzebub. Show me what you can do with that cube. 